What's up, everybody? Welcome back for another class. My name is Onam. And in this class, I'm actually going to teach you how to build up a hand gesture. You see, like right now, we have a key, but it has no hands over here. But if I show you, like, this short loop I made about him fishing, you can see, let me just quickly run preview it. You can see the hand gesture, how oh, it's automatically just switching to different you gotta say switch again to this one so i'm gonna show you how i build uh dash rig it's gonna be really really straightforward simple as always you know our style and it's gonna be really cool you're just gonna love it so without wasting time let's let's jump on it Okay, first and first, I usually draw the the hands, the different poses of them in Illustrator, in different layers, and I'll have them. Uh, I'll already just just like try to see how it will look on it, on the arm. So I'll just make these arms to already see how they will look, drop the feel of it. You know, once I'm done with that. Um, yeah, I can. I don't actually really need this, but I'll just keep maybe like one of them for a reason that I'll show you in a bit. Um, yeah, do something like that, and then I'll just save it. So I'll just control save it and call it hand set for class. You know what? I think I'm gonna make these files available on my Gamrod stores, and actually they're gonna be free. That's the beauty, right? Cool. So you can save it and maybe use it on your own character as well. Now, after you saved it, you come back to After Effect. You just import it, right? You make sure you import your file. Okay. Now I'm going to import it, but all I'll do is I'll just switch this from footage to composition, retain layer sizes. Switch it to this one and click to import. Be good. After that, you'll just double click on this uh, comp of the hands gestures. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll first lower the, int the intensity of like all the hands. I have select all the hands. I press T and just reduce the intensity and the next thing I'll do is just to align all of them on top of this arm to make sure that they look natural all right so the first one is already aligned which is this one usually they get piled up the more you start aligning and like if I bring this one on top of it you see it gets a bit confused so what I advise you to do is after you align one like after you align this one you can just hide it all right and then work on this one. You bring it, you align it there. You can maybe rotate it as well. You know? Another thing is the anchor point here really matters, right? Um, switch on your layer controls so you can see. And then just move the anchor point where your the middle of your hand is. And then you can rotate it from there. Okay? Right, that's fresh, much better. So the next thing is I'll just move it to make sure it's perfectly aligned. Something like that, that's good. Again, once you're done working with it, you can just hide it. All right, you bring the next one as well, which is this one. I'm just pressing shift to slide it evenly. I think that one is good. Control F. Okay, and I'll also hide it. I'm wearing this finger as well. Just the cool. I'll hide it. I'll bring this one as well. This one pointing straight in your face. And I'll hide it as well. And I'll bring the fist. And you hide it. 
and this I think the last one right for some reason I don't want to use this one because it's the we're gonna use it on the left hand so this is facing the back I don't think I'll use it so I'll just get rid of it on purpose really all right get rid of that one yeah so the next thing you do is you bring all those layers back on all right all of them and you bring the, the opacity back to 100 percent as well sorry of all of them opacity 100 cool after you're done do doing that i'll just advise you to go back to your first frame your very beginning first frame and then you go to the next frame you just do you select all the layers right and then you do Control shift d to slide it and it will slice it sorry and then uh, you just did it so you just remain with like one frame of all of them and the next thing is you select again all of, all the layers only the hands actually yeah? because we're not really doing the arm and then you come to animation keyframe assistance and then you come to sequence layers after that you just press ok oh i've done it the other way around does it work i think it works anyway so you're gonna have something like this right basically this is how many frames we have we have five frames in total we have five frames of so five different gestures right remember that we have five different gestures so after you don't you've done that you can now go to the comp where your or your character is but um i'll just switch off the arm at this point because i don't need the arm anymore here so you just save that come back where your composition of your character is so i save this one call it for class and i will now import that uh comp in this composition let's bring it in some other no i'm just gonna scale it make sure it fits the actual actual size of our character and also here the anchor point matters so make sure the anchor point is really positioned where it's supposed to be in this case it's supposed to be over here the bottom is the main somewhere here all right cool now i'm just gonna scale it down so it looks normal and then position it down as well actually let me just reduce the opacity to see it's matching cool to somewhere there so I remember what I told you about the five frames that we had, right? Before we do anything, I'll ask you to first to to freeze to freeze these frames. So you do right click, you come on time here, and then you do freeze frame, boom. So we we'll quickly just talk about this this stuff over here. Um, the first one means hour, the next one means a uh, minute, the third one means second and the last one means frame so the five frame that we had that uh, we'll be tapping them on this last one here so at frame zero we had that point so let me maybe type uh, frame four and it's gonna be different one you get it now and maybe i'll type okay at frame three and it's gonna be this one pointing at you and I'll switch, I'll be like, okay, uh, yeah, maybe we'll leave it to something like that. Okay, after we've done that, now you need to attach this hand to the wrist. Okay, look for that wrist. Um, yeah, it's this one here. So you just attach this comp to the wrist. So, meaning wherever the wrist goes, your hand will go with it. I'll just block this one 
So if I move the the wrist, you see the hands go over there. That's so cool. <laughs> That's very cool. I like it. And you can bring back the opacity to a hundred. Just some black. Just some black. Eh? Yeah, you can bring it back to a hundred like that. And if you want to change again the 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 gesture, you can just type it in here. Okay, let me just unlock it. You can just type maybe okay two. It's like a waving, it's just waving. <laughs> you know, like hey. Yeah. You know? Also cool. Let's just quickly do um a quick it's yeah, just a very quick loop over here. Okay. Let's see what do I have here? I'll just get rid of all the keys that I have. So that we build something quick. Ooh. Who doesn't like animation? Something fun. Let's do it. I'll just build a quick loop. I bring is I bring the wrist from down here. I'm even gonna key also the on gestures, so the wrist are positioned and the on gestures as well. So maybe when it goes up, I'm actually gonna switch it to a uh, where is that fist? I think the fist was on a frame. Two on frame two, is it? One. This is one. Okay. So I'll tap one. See. I see it's just one. No, it's not one. So I look for it. The five. Yep, it is one there. So basically, what I want is I'm actually gonna reverse this. So I'll start with the waving. Now I'll start with the, the with the the fist down. And then from here, I'll just raise his hand. Yeah, and we have any tight right here. Let's push it higher. Something like that. So let's see what we have. Yeah, that's so quick. So we just play with time. Boom! From there, I want to shoot it again. I'm gonna go hold it. <laughs> and maybe I'll bring it down. So I'll just extend our workspace, work area, and then I'll bring it down. Actually, I'll just copy the first key to that. Okay, so let's see what we have. Actually, when it comes down and the fist comes back as well, copy that there, copy this there. No, so let's see. Coming down. See that? Yeah. You see that? So that's how you make your the gesture rig. I think that was quick and that was fun. Yeah, thank you so much. Drop a comment if you've enjoyed this. You can also like the video. That'd be cool. And remember, you can get the uh, files from my. Uh, from my store on um, Gumboard. Actually, it's gonna be free. I thank you.